The South African Institute for Race Relations, the IRR, uh, launched its Save the Opposition campaign in reaction to the dire state of opposition politics in the country, according to them. Herman Pretorius is the campaign coordinator for the Institute for Race Relations, and he joins us now to tell us why the need for the campaign. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. All right. So uh, tell us why... So hashtag save the opposition campaign. Are you entering into politics now? Because I believe that what you do is advocacy. Well, um, political advocacy. In mm. this case, we're advocating for better politics. And I think the South African people deserve that. And, and, and I think they expect that. The, the, we shouldn't make the mistake of thinking that in a constitutional democracy, holding the government to account is enough. The opposition... Um, plays a vital role, a constitutional role, a moral role. They are a check on the immense powers of government granted by the Constitution. So, um, says who? The Constitution. They are the voice of uh, millions of South Africans who don't have power. If you're in Parliament, if you're an opposition party and you don't feel you mm. need to be a voice for the voiceless, then, then I'm, I'm really unsure what you're doing But in don't the voters make up their mind, though? They say, we like the DA, we love what they're doing, and that's why we're going to vote for them. Uh, if they don't do what they're supposed to do, they'll vote for someone else. So why mm. would you need to intervene? Well, um, that point about if they're not happy with the DA, they'll vote for someone else. I absolutely agree with that, mm. and I think we saw that happen. And I think in the by-election, since the May elections earlier this year, we continue to see it happen. But I must say, th um, I'm actually very excited about this, this race between these mm. four candidates. They, they present... I mean, the, it, it, it's quite an impressive roster of candidates. Mm. You have someone like Ethel Trollope, who's a solid liberal from the progressive... Mm. A tradition of Helen Sussman. You have Mike Waters, who is this 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 fire eater for classic liberalism. You have Thomas Walters, yeah. who is uh, who is right, an so old god of the that's DP. That's it's a it's a good time to form part of the it's debate. It's an internal race, yes, but w why do they need saving? That's I guess perhaps. And what are you hoping people will do? Well, I'm hoping people will step in to save them. Um, the How? thing is, uh, by by putting pressure on politicians, uh, the polit you shouldn't go into politics and yeah. expect an easy life. So if someone like the, if, if an institution that's been around for almost a yeah. century, like the IRR, um, criticizes you, uh, I, I, I wonder whether it's wise to dismiss mm. that criticism. I think it's, it's, it's part of a vibrant democracy. We at the IRR, we've been, we've been fighting against racialist politics for 90 mm. years. We were against it when the NP tried it, we were against it when the ANC tried it, and anyone who will try but to involve But you themselves. wrote a piece recently and you've told Musi Maimane to resign. That's no longer advocacy. This is taking a political position. Some might say you're actually interfering in the affairs of a political party. I'm advocating. I'm an advocate. I'm in, in this in terms of advocacy. A party I'm leader who's been elected to resign. Yes, I'm advocating for the DA to uh, to replace its leader. So I, I don't think that's beyond the realm of what's acceptable in a democratic constitutional but democracy. But how is it that you get to decide who should oh, be? Oh, I don't. I don't. At no but point. But you've told him to to resign. Yes, and has he listened? Apparently, I'm not <laughs> as powerful as people think I am. It's my view that mm. Mr. Maimane should resign. I think it's fair to hold that view. I think there's merit in mm. that view. But the idea that only a political party itself or another political party has a right to criticize and call for some yeah. changes, I mean, that's disingenuous. It's a, it's a soft opt-out for politicians who can't, you know, it's yeah. there's an old saying about something heat, something kitchen. But aren't you compromised a little bit? Because now you've got Helen Ziller leaving the IRR mm. and going back into the DA. Mm. And she was also defending you last week. Is she not a compromised person now when it comes to anything you say? She defended my right to freedom of speech. Um, she didn't defend the content of my article. But I must say, at, all, at, at several points during the existence of the IRR, candidates like Athol Trollope have had good relations with the Institute. We have worked solidly with these candidates and with the Democratic Party as a whole. So we are happy if uh, someone like, uh, like Athol mm. Trollope or, or, or Mike Waters or Helen wins. This, mm. is, this is a good election 
to have and if you uh, if you want to frame it in, in, yeah. in terms of a historical question. It's very interesting that you have the old progressives, uh, the old Democratic Party, people like Thomas Walters and Athol Trollope, mm. and then you have uh, on, on, uh, against people like Mike Waters and Helen Ziller. It's a so fascinating is this, conflict. Is this about the DA or opposition parties in general? Because in the city of Johannesburg, city of Pretoria, we have opposition parties which are the ANC. Mm. And I wonder, are you advocating for them as well to be more effective in there? And you're going to launch a hashtag save the opposition in Joburg, hashtag save the opposition in Pretoria. That's a very good idea. If you, if you, ever, if you ever want to come work for us, I'm <laughs> sure by the, we'll get something for you in the campaigns department. Yeah. But you see, the thing is uh, that the, 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 the suggestions we make I think are good suggestions for any political party. Um, it, it, it's get rid of the racists in your party, mm. stamp out corruption, uh, 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 make sure that you elect good leaders. Yeah. I mean, this is these the, and keep keep to principle. Don't Adam play opportunist are politics. Are you an advocacy group or a pseudo political grouping that's punting out your own ideas? Because uh, you sound very much like people who want things to happen in a certain way, and this is what political parties do. And it's also what think tanks do. Why don't you just do. go to the, to the proletariat and get voted into power? You see, that's, that's such... I, I know why you're making that <laughs> argument. I, I've, I've been on the receiving end of that for yeah. a week now. But let's be honest, that's such a soft landing that politicians want to set up for themselves yeah. by saying you can only criticize us if you're a part of this party or another political party. Now, let's have a hypothetical situation here. Let's say... No, but you want to save them. L yeah, absolutely, because we're a principle-based organization. We're not a political party. We, are, we, as I, we have worked with people like the PAC in the middle of the 20th century to fight apartheid. Mm. We are not in this to pick winning sides. We are in this because we believe in classical mm. liberalism. And for classical liberalism to work, you need okay. a strong opposition. So... What if you save the DA and they win an election? Then you've interfered in politics. And that'll be awful. A think tank <laughs> interfering in politics, <laughs> unmentionable. <laughs> it's almost as if think tanks world over um, should reconsider whether they shouldn't just, you know, like things on Facebook or on okay. Twitter. Think tanks are there to challenge and right. to debate and, yes, to interfere. And if we can interfere right. in this election, get someone like Athol Trollope in there, um, someone like uh, Mike Waters, I mean, we'll be happy right. with that end. If, as okay, long as we so can the DA don't debate. think they need saving. They think They're you're wrong. interfering. And I just wonder, how long do you think this campaign will last and what will success look like? Um, success will look like... Um, I think it might look very much like a, 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 a growth party, a party mm. in an upward trajectory, a party taking seriously what voters want from politics. They don't, uh, genuinely, um, if, if, if you go to anyone create a, um, with a job under uh, the economic management of mm. any specific party, um, and you go to that person and say, you have a job because of the economic policies of politician A, B, or C, and they say to you, well, I didn't, politician B is, is black or white or Asian, my goodness, I'm no longer interested mm. in this job. The thing is, these South Africa has, we have racial problems, yeah. but that doesn't mean we need, you know, race-based solutions. Okay. All right, Herman, we're going to have to leave it there. I have a feeling we'll chat again to you in the near future, but let's see what happens with your campaign uh, in you. the coming days. Thanks so much indeed for your time. Thank you. All right. Okay, so now the man...